So now let's talk about grouping and ungrouping inside of Adobe Captivate. So over here, you may have multiple shapes as you actually keep on making them. So you can see that I have uh, a rectangular shape right here. You may have like text, uh, a text caption boxes right over here. So, so uh, let's say, for example, I'm going to write to the tube right here. Uh, let me just change the color as well so it seems more visible right over here. So as you ha have more and more shapes, it may be difficult for you to arrange it out. So you may have to select it all. And as you move one shape, you can see that you uh, it does not move together. So in this case, what you might want to do is you might want to group the objects together. So for that, what you can do is you can shift select both of these or you can select out all of these right over here. You can right click on them and simply click on group. So another way of doing this is by pressing on Control Z right over here. Click on group and then it's grouped out as you can see right over here. So whenever I choose this now, it is grouped out just like this. And if I want to ungroup it, I'm simply going to right click and click on ungroup and it has been ungrouped as you can see right over here. So let's understand how the grouping works all together itself. So I'm going to Control uh, C and Control V that is copy, uh, copy and paste this out. Select both of these as well. Control C, Control V, that is copy and paste this out. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to group these two together first. I'm just going to group these and I'm going to group these as well as you can see. So I'm just going to group these as well. So this is a group right here and this is a group as well. So what I can do now is I can select both of them, them again and group it out. So now they are all grouped out as you can see. So I can resize them just like this. And now they are one single object just like this. But once I ungroup them, so if I were to right click on this and click on ungroup them, let's see what happens. They actually divide right over here into single groups right over here. So subgroups don't really work in Adobe Captivate if you're used to other applications right over here. So all of them will ungroup all together. So just like this, this is how group works. You're, so what you can do is you can group it out and you can go around here. This is all a group right here. And once you ungroup it out, everything ungroups. There's no subgroup or nothing right over here. So that is how grouping and ungrouping works inside of Adobe Captivate. So I hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share and subscribe.